Hi everybody, I want to look at crime in Silicon Valley, essentially the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, and just discuss it in detail here. So we're going to look uh, primarily at San Francisco here, uh, and then we're also going to look at San Jose, uh, and then we're going to look over at the East Bay, basically Oakland area, and that's the three main regions that we're going to look at. So here's kind of the crime map for the overall Bay Area. Uh, you'll see some areas uh, that I kind of missed here. I uh, should have added uh, on Stockton uh, being uh, particularly dangerous. Um, but basically, Oakland is considered uh, the worst part. Um, and then actually even Stockton is considered even maybe even worse uh, sometimes uh, than Oakland. So when you look at nationally, uh, basically St. Louis is some of the worst. Uh, Detroit, uh, Memphis, uh, and so on. Uh, you can see California does rank up here. You can see Stockton, Oakland, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles uh, being pretty bad. Uh, but overall, in the United States, California isn't doing so bad. Um, actually, the safer regions are in the Pacific Northwest, uh, kind of the Midwest here up in the... Uh, uh, Boston area is pretty good, uh, but basically the worst areas are actually down in New Mexico, Arizona, uh, and uh, Memphis, Tennessee area, and then along the East Coast, some parts over here. So what I did is I grabbed a lot of heat maps, uh, looked at them for San Francisco. This is kind of uh, the whole peninsula of San Francisco. Uh, so downtown San Francisco is over here. Here's uh, Bay Bridge and the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge is off over here. Uh, but you really would have to take a careful look at this map. This is the original map. I had to piece it together piece by piece. Um, it's just such a high resolution image. <clears throat> so you may want to look at both of these. Uh, I'll just pause this for a moment so you can have this image. <clears throat> but uh, you want to maybe take a careful look at it street by street uh, to see. Uh, I kind of diagnosed that. Here, um, getting even into pretty far south San Francisco um, on that map. I don't know if you could see it on the other map. Let me see here. Sorry. So yeah, it's even there. There's a part of South San Francisco missing. Um, but it's just a huge, it's a ginormous map, uh, very detailed uh, for San Francisco. Um, but basically, most people consider this part of San Francisco the most dangerous part of San Francisco. Um, but it's actually, the story is a little bit more complicated than that. Um, there's actually a part um, that's separated into two parts, and actually maybe the worst part is even a little bit west and south of that. So it really depends on what kind of data source you have. Um, there's a couple spots down in here, um, and I actually probably should have even circled this spot right here. That's a 1,000, so that's pretty bad, and I guess I should have circled these two as well if I'm going to circle the others. But when you get the whole picture... Uh, you start to see uh, where the worst parts are um, and kind of compare those to others. What I think happening here is that they're actually the richest part of Pacific Heights is one of the wealthiest neighborhoods. A lot of that uh, comes from uh, downtown and then people um, causing theft and vandalism and other things there. So here's kind of the main map for San Francisco. Again, you can kind of see uh, some of the major streets and neighborhoods. Um, it's a little bit surprising some of the areas – uh, if you look at this main map, you'll see some really surprising areas, uh, particularly in the south San Francisco, uh, particularly in this block here. You'll see some on the other side of the hill. So if you're familiar uh, with San Francisco, there's basically a big hill in the center here. Uh, and you kind of a couple, actually there's ma uh, several major hills here. So you kind of got to look, uh, see how the hills uh, orient things as well. Um, but uh Again, um, there are different maps. Some of them are per week, some of them are per month. Some of them are since the beginning of the year, but basically almost everyone agrees right in here. And basically, it's called the Tenderloin uh, is the worst, but you can also see uh, some of the numbers here, uh, hopefully for uh, some of these other neighborhoods. Um, I really like this map. This kind of got into uh, different... Uh, it did like a circle. Each, each part of this circle is a different part of crime, uh, you can kind of, hopefully you can see that for all of San Francisco, uh, someone else did this study here. Um, and you can see it is kind of split here. Uh, and then this Turk Street is pretty bad. Um, and then you can see uh, basically other areas like in Chinatown being actually pretty bad as well. Uh, so, uh, and then here's kind of, this almost gives you a heat map, but it does show quite a lot of crimes. I didn't want to circle anything because it was so detailed and you probably want to take a look at that in detail. So let's look at the rest of the Bay Area. 
uh, particularly in Oakland. Uh, my family lives over here. Uh, I haven't lived over here. I lived in San Francisco, so I'm more familiar with San Francisco, and I've also lived down in San Jose. But I've visited many times into Berkeley. Um, I've visited over in Oakland. Um, but certainly, uh, Berkeley, you know, it's kind of weird because there's a lot of essentially homelessness right along the shorefront here. Uh, there isn't really a beach front, uh, so much, but there is quite a lot of problems there. Um, and then it actually it extends over into this region over here. And then you can kind of see in the financial district, there's a couple of spots uh, next to there. Uh, Piedmont is where my uh, family lives. Uh, but anyway, so there's a couple. Emeryville actually isn't super safe. So there's a lot of just... Uh, a lot of people just stay over in this region and then come in uh, out to the water. This is the Berkeley Marina here, um, and this Emeryville Marina here. So there's basically two main marinas, and you basically uh, and it is fairly safe, but there's certainly um, as you get close to the waterfront there, it gets pretty bad. So down in San Jose, uh, I'm a little more familiar with. I lived uh, over on 16th Street near San Jose State University. I've been all in Mountain View, uh, Sunnyvale, Palo Alto, and so on. So I'm pretty familiar with this area. Uh, but what I would say is that there's definitely some funny things going on here. Uh, First Street, which basically runs up through here uh, right into uh, the, the, the waterfront here, basically divides – this this whole area is divided into two halves, right? So you can see I kind of have them um, – and it really does feel like West Bay, East Bay. Like all of a sudden when you start to get up to Milpitas and Fremont, there's just a whole different thing going on on the East Bay. And you can see that in the crime. Uh, there's definitely two halves to it. And it almost splits uh, right down here uh, through the center, which is very um, funny. But um, I'm not really that familiar with the Stanford problem, but apparently uh, – this uh, Palazzo area is actually pretty bad over here, and there's some spots in Redwood City, East Palazzo, uh, and even, but Mountain View and Sunnyvale are really great. El Camino Real is basically a road that just runs down through the whole section here. So Highway 101, uh, it's pretty much runs pretty safe uh, most along there. El Camino Real, you'll kind of see some sketchy areas every once in a while as you drive up and down the peninsula but basically that's san jose uh for you here and then here's more details on san francisco i'm not sure if that other map uh if you look at this main map this is basically san francisco shows a lot more detail um and you may want to just use that map or you can use this map as well because it just doesn't get into the details that the heat map does so uh, but it does show some differences uh, here. So you can kind of see some of the safer neighborhoods I put in green. I try to put in any green here area. My friend lived over in Russian Hill. I lived, actually, my own personal story is pretty interesting because I lived uh, a couple different spots in San Francisco, 16th and Market, uh, down in here. So I've been up and down Market Street at all hours of the night. I used to live over on 4th Street, too. Uh, the Tenderloin is generally considered the worst of it but you know it, it is just really bad at nighttime a lot of people come out on market street and it's just lined with homeless people for a good couple miles actually so you can go all the way almost downtown it does kind of clean up as you get right towards the waterfront uh but then it gets a little bit weird uh it's just hard to say you know it's a little bit more industrial but they've really changed a lot of the area uh now that i used to live in it used to be pretty bad uh, like 4th and Market and that, 4th Street. Uh, but it's kind of changing a little bit now. So definitely you want to look at the latest statistics and see uh, where the areas are that are safe and unsafe. And I would say the main reason I'm doing this is for overnight parking. Uh, you know, I don't want to park in any of these red zones. And I'm just going to circle this. I didn't want to circle it because I kind of didn't know how to circle this whole area. But... Uh, but basically, right in here uh, is is a very questionable area in San Francisco. But I would say uh, on the heat map, as you look at some of these other areas where there's a lot of heat down in here, these particular streets, you definitely want to watch out on. So that's why I would pr primarily use this map uh, to study everything. 
Um, and you can even go in more zoomed into more detail, but this is kind of the biggest map uh, that I wanted to do for this whole particular study. I'll post all the links down below, but basically parking can be a nightmare in San Francisco, and there is uh, permit parking as well as just a whole bunch of different problems. So and you can even see out towards sunset, certain areas do have high crime uh, right along here uh, as you try to get out there. And I was particularly shocked at some of these areas here. This all looked pretty standard back in here, so I didn't um, cover that, but you can definitely take a look at it yourself. Uh, so basically, we just went through the entire Bay Area. There's one other portion that I want to look at, which is kind of the South San Francisco and which we kind of looked at. This gets down towards Half Moon Bay, uh, Pacifica, and some other regions near the airport. So the airport is really actually quite unsafe. And same with Oakland Airport. So you pretty much want to get right on the BART or get right on public transportation pretty quickly if you can. So uh, I was pretty surprised at this South San Francisco area right in here. Uh, this doesn't look super safe and there's definitely some spots right in here and here and this is part of that other uh, Map that I already showed so you can see that uh, Pretty much on here. This is that little area here in hunters point Actually probably should be circled too as a separate section. It's kind of had a long history and uh, and it is kind of different kinds of crime in different neighborhoods. And that's the other thing I wanted to explain. So I lived at 16th and Market, and then I also lived at 4th here. And I had some other friends all throughout the city. Uh, and it's definitely different types of crime in different neighborhoods. Uh, you know, the Mission District, it's a little bit more Latino. Uh, it's basically Tenderloin has got a lot of African uh, mix in, in with it. Um, and just it's different. Uh, like fourth south of market north of market it's different types of crimes and different types of problems slightly in each neighborhood so uh, that's important to think about um, and definitely uh, what I would say is you know I live primarily really close to downtown San Francisco and spent most of my time in these areas I did go out to the beach quite often um, and so I'm pretty familiar with Richmond and heading out here uh, you know, Haight and Ashbury, um, I guess we can kind of circle that as a red zone, but there's kind of some spillover. What happens is that this Golden Gate Park uh, is pretty unsafe here, and I'm going to just circle it so it's very obvious. Um, so even parking next to Golden Gate Park, a lot of people say never do that. Um, but basically what happens is that people go through Haight and Ashbury, and it comes through here, and then it goes into the Tenderloin and into the Market Street. And some of that spills into this lower hill area. And I'll circle that right in here uh, because it was pretty obvious on this other map that you could kind of see that there was a problem right in there. And so this is Hayden Ashbury right through here, right? And it's just kind of, it's actually a little bit south of that. So once you get north of this, it gets a little bit nicer. Um, so it's really the really big question is about South San Francisco. A lot of people just don't know it uh, Commute like the commute. It's, it's, it's really strange because the commuting There is really no public transportation good to get uh, to downtown except for 101 and 280 which comes in here So it really creates a complex uh, There's the there's the BART the rapid transit that kind of goes through Daly City uh, and that creates some good public transportation, uh, but there's also some other problems nearby that. So I would say South San Francisco is really complicated, uh, and you definitely want to look at that carefully. Uh, but all throughout the Bay Area, you know, actually Oakland is a very complicated story uh, to look at. And some of that even would go all the way out to Stockton. Apparently Stockton is even worse than Oakland, according to national statistics. So <clears throat> you can kind of see there is some crime um, over in some of these regions uh, that I did not circle. Really, I can maybe just circle this Richmond area uh, and maybe some of this area over here might be interesting to look at as well in the future. Um, but uh, South, South San Jose, you know, there were some times where people were flipping cars on Cinco de Maya and shooting major guns like semi-automatic machine guns 
right in downtown San Jose. I don't know if that happens too much anymore. That's just kind of a crazy story. And I wouldn't take it as like a recent story, but <clears throat> um, but I would say there is some kind of strange things going on in San Jose. And I would say a lot of that, my guess is a further out from here. So basically it starts, the crime starts maybe out in the far suburbs of San Jose and then pulls in uh, to either this uh, west side and then, and a lot of that actually is more on the Milpitas side and the East Bay side. So and then it goes back to say uh, that the Oakland problem even extends down to San Jose. So, uh, and I didn't really look at the full side of the East Bay. Uh, I think we kind of looked at it here, um, but it does extend quite far down. Let me see, get a quick map for you. So I'll just circle this uh, with you right now so you can kind of see how I did this. Uh, so the East Bay, this is south of uh, Oakland is really different right Hayward you can kind of see there's kind of a spot right in here with Union City uh, and then Fremont I would say definitely looking at it. and then even out here in this area um, and then this is all part of the airport which we looked at up in Oakland and San Leonardo so that's actually considered a not super safe area uh, so and then after circling the unsafe areas, I try to circle the more safe areas and you can kind of see some of these out into here uh, Pleasanton um, I've heard some good things about that and it's a nice little name too uh, And you can see uh, some of these areas Stan Lorenzo uh, and then certain parts of Union City uh, And then I just saved these so I saved all these maps and put these on my Facebook so that other people can try to look at them Foster City is on the other side of the bay, but the San Mateo Bridge um, so basically the big discussion here is Fremont and it just feels a little bit weird as you're driving up and down Hayward. Once you get into Oakland, uh, it is pretty sketchy. So it kind of, it's just weird because a lot of the people tried to get cheaper housing on the East Bay. So there's a lot of families here and I don't want to give it any bad rap, but uh, it is a little bit, it's just because they're not making as much money typically on the east bay here uh, as the peninsula so uh there is a couple spots it looks like in hayward castro valley san leonardo that maybe you should be careful of um, but uh in general it's a really quiet area overall so last but not least you can see some of this last crime data uh, for san francisco uh, basically robbery and assault uh, is quite a bit less than just regular theft but it's basically one in let's say 10 uh, is actually someone directly trying to uh, rob something from you so take a look at all these maps um, including uh, the peninsula map so this is the peninsula map the kind of the mid peninsula and this is the east bay so the san mateo bridge uh, which is right here basically crosses and facebook is just built a new facility down in here um, as well as like you get towards Paul Alto and some other areas um, but definitely take a look at the whole maps um, let me know what you think and hopefully this will help you stay safe thank you so much oh whoa there's one other place that I didn't actually even look at yet with you so uh, this is out in Concord so I haven't even circled this yet I have a friend that lives in Martinez um, I would say it's pretty safe, um, but there's definitely um, some areas to be worried about and think about. So uh, this is Richmond, uh, and I would definitely look at this. I actually tried uh, to visit this Richmond area, and I was really shocked. Man, it's really dense streets in here. There's like the Ford factory over here. There's some weird stuff going on uh, that make it uh, kind of surprising uh, areas uh, to both live and work in so uh, but I would say these look like some of the more safer opportunities in that area so I added a few more circles to this map uh, I'm gonna save it here uh, but basically uh, you can see as you get to our Stockton uh, becomes quite weird out there there's just some unsafety uh, that I'm not familiar with um, but basically we just took a look at the entire Bay Area went into all the details on the heat map of San Francisco discussed the entire nation comparing that to San Francisco looked at some of the hot spots in San Francisco you can see the main areas uh, and kind of see some of these maps uh, overall uh, but I hope you enjoyed the study um, let me know if you have any questions basically there's a lot of stuff that we just discussed uh, but I hope you enjoyed the whole study thank you so much